Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as the forces of Trap Chat managed to fend off the newest syndicate strategy and retain control of the bear infested deep forests of Brightwood. KOTT news crews were on the scene as the spoils of victory were handed out to the participants. Will recent proposed adjustments to the laws of simulated armed conflict impact their future strategies? We caught up with Trap Chat leadership afterwards to get their reactions. Thanks for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Congratulations on your victory. How do you think it went? Would you care to take us through it? Uh, well, it was an interesting one, John. It didn't go quite as we, we thought it would. Well, you still managed to hold it, so it at least went as well as it could have for you, I would think. Are they starting to put a little pressure on you? I've noticed that they've come after you about three times in the last week. Uh, they're trying a lot of new stuff, so I think they're learning. Uh, I'm expecting a stronger push next week. KOTT News would like to remind its subscribers of the Tournament of Summer Days one-on-one -on -one PvP event happening tonight at 6 p.m. server. So come on down and enjoy the festivities from the first row circle around the participants. Turning to the weather and it's going to be a bit of a scorcher today as the sun blazes across the sky keeping everything dry. But look out once again after sundown as the temperatures drop and humidity rises causing a 30% chance of invasion. Two submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO, remember! If it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the Covenant Forces of Tropical challenge the champs of the censored for their championship title and the right to rule over Everfall. Tropical Forces return to the ring after a two week hiatus. Will their roadwork up the Siren Chest run improve their endurance enough to finish? For the champs, they're within striking distance of third place on the all-time Never Fall list, but only if they can hold off the forces of Tropical once again. Then, the Marauders of Dragoon Heathens assail the Syndicate forces of Dancing Phoenix for control of First Light and the flow of the Spice. Dragoon Heathens exercise their right to rematch and attempt to break through the Southwest Trade Route blockade, while simultaneously seizing the island's primary spice production region. For Dancing Phoenix, their first defense of the fort since acquiring it two weeks ago. They've had ample time to install the maximum fort upgrades powered by the spice. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.